Seven five, angles of elevation and angles of depression. Our last section of this chapter. The angle of depression and the angle of elevation are closely related. If you think of parallel lines, as you look out at the horizon, the angle of depression would be measured from your line of sight, which would be straight ahead, down to the object. Your angle of elevation from the ground level as you look up to the object would be from your eye level measuring up. If you look at these as being parallel lines, we have alternate interior angles. So they are very closely related. Let's look at an example problem. It says, a salvage ship uses sonar to determine that the angle of depression to the wreck on the ocean floor is 13.25 degrees. The depth chart shows that the ocean floor is 40 meters below the surface. How, must, how far must the diver be lowered from the salvage ship walk along the ocean floor to reach the wreck? All right, so as we look at this, we have from the sonar, which looks straight ahead from the ship here, is measuring down at 13.25 degrees in front of the ship. We know the salvage is 40 meters below. We're going to use our Sokotoa to find the distance that the diver was lowered he needs to walk across the distance across the top of this and the distance across the bottom. If you look at it, it kind of looks like a rectangle, will be the same. We're going to use our Sokotoa from the last chapter. We're going to use opposite the 13.25 and adjacent to the 13.25. That means that tangent 13.25 will equal opposite over adjacent. Now we have our problem set up, we need to solve for the missing piece, which is x. Well, simply we can create this into a proportion by putting tangent 13.25 over 1. Now we have a proportion, so we will cross multiply. x times tangent 13.25 equals 40 times 1, which is 40. Now we need to get x by itself, so we will simply divide by tangent 13.25. And getting out your calculators, you will see that the distance the diver needs to walk, 40 divided by tangent 13.25, is 169.873 and our label here was meters. We have our answer. The diver needs to walk 169.873 meters along the ocean floor to get to the object. Let's try another one. Find the angle of elevation of the sun when a 7.6 meter flight bowl casts an 18.2 meter shadow. So here's our flagpole. Now the sun's shining down and we need to make an 18.2 meter shadow. So there's the sun ray that's casting a shadow of the flagpole. The flagpole is along the ground, so we know we have an 18.2 meter shadow of a 7.6 meter flagpole. So we want to find the angle of elevation. So we're right here on the ground, and we're trying to measure that angle. I'm going to use, again, tangent of x is equal to opposite, which is 7.6, over adjacent, which is 18.2. Here you notice we're solving for an angle. 
if you remember from our notes the last time, whenever we're trying to find an angle, we're going to use the inverse operation. X is equal to tangent negative 1, which is inverse tangent, of 7.6 divided by 18.2. Now, get out your calculator and do the calculations. You will see that you get 22.6645 or 22.665 degrees. There's our angle of elevation. One more question here. Olivia is in a lighthouse on a cliff. The distance from her to the beach is 145 feet. She observes two sailboats due east, which means directly to the east of her. The angles of depression to the two boats are 33 and 57 degrees. Find the distance between the two boats. So we have boat number one and boat number two. Just for ease of use, we're going to make two lighthouses. First off, remember the lighthouse is 145 feet. It's not going to change. She observed two sailboats to the east, one of them at 57 degrees and one of them at 33 degrees. Now, the angle of depression is measured directly out from where she is at and then down. So the angle of depression would be, one of them would be at 33 degrees. Oops. And the other one would be at 57 degrees. Redraw that one. Now remember, this is angle of depression, so we're not going to be calculating that angle down there. That would be angle of elevation from the boat up to the lighthouse. We want the angle of depression, which would be from the lighthouse down to the boat, which is 57 degrees, like I said. Now we need to find out how far away the two boats are. What we actually want to calculate is, I'll call it x for the one boat, and Y for the other boat. Pause this recording and check to see if you can write up the two trigonometric questions or two trigonometric, trigonometric expressions to find Y and to find X. For the first boat, remember we can put 145 over here. I have my angle and I'm going to use tangent of 33 equals opposite over adjacent. Solving that, we're going to get y equals 145 over tangent of 33. Make sure if you have questions on how I got that to ask in class. So if we take 145 divided by tangent 33, we get that that boat is 223.280. So 223.280 feet away. Now we have to start over again. We have to do the exact same problem for the other boat. So we're going to go tangent of 57 is equal to opposite, which is our 145, over our adjacent, which is x. Solving that for x, we're going to get 145 over tangent of 57. Again, we go to our calculator and divide 145 by tangent 57. And you will get 94.164. Now let's see if we can answer the question. What is the distance between the two boats? To do that, all we need to do is subtract, subtract how far they are from her. We know that the first boat is 223.280 away from her. 
The second boat is 94.164 away from her. So if we subtract those, 223.280 minus 94.164, we get 129.116. So those two boats are about 129 feet apart. That is the end of this lesson. Again, hopefully you've taken good notes and come back with any questions you have to class when you see me tomorrow.